Hi, I'm in Jakarta at my poolside uh, in my home. So, uh, okay, this is an introduction to me for the uh, course that I'm going to uh, share with you uh, purely based on my experiences only living in Milan uh, in Italy. So it's all pure on observations, no teaching because after all, it is an unspoken rule in Milan on how one dresses. This also includes men. So, uh, men, you are welcome to join in. Uh, first of all, thank you for um, subscribing to me or to my uh, course. Um, I would love to share with you this knowledge that it's my passion actually because um, it really has given me such a comfort and also a lot of um, uh, uh, self assurances where I know on what to buy, on what to look for, on what to combine in an outfit, whether it is for a party or for, for casual wear or for city or for lake, especially in Italy they have, a, they have beautiful, wonderful lakes, uh, sea, rivers and uh, all those little little charming towns and i noticed during my uh, life there not that i have left italy for a very long time i've only left it eight months now going on nine months and uh, based on those experiences i noticed that in italy especially in the north because i can't speak for rome or the south of Italy, but at least in Milan, of course, the center city of uh, fashion. Even though I must share with you that in Italy, fashion is not the rule of, the, of, of, of how one has to dress. Yes, maybe you can just have a little bit, uh, uh, you know, of a fashionable touch on your outfit but basically they uh, rather stick to the more classic and actually understated style what does understate means i mean it is something that doesn't come to you in a in an in a, in a, in a, in a, in a you know baba boom way it comes to you gently at first people say oh nice and then they start paying attention to the accessories or the color coordination you put on and the way you put the whole outfit together that they start in finding quite pleasant because first of all it's not that threatening to other women you can be sexy if you like <laughs> by all means but it is more on the conformity of the way the Italians dress in Milan, which again I have written on my blog that is the opposite of other countries, especially London where I have lived also there, that I can be so assured that there, the more eccentric you are or the more different you are, is much more um, appreciated or admired well in Milan it's the other way around the more you conform to them to their way of putting an outfit together down to, 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 to the color coordination the kind of shoes the kind of bags the kind even of makeup that I shall share with you all this on the course that I'm offering um, they really admire you and not only admiring you, but they you. They consider you as one of them. And they also feel secure about themselves to you because then they feel that you have understood this unspoken rule that they have, which they don't talk about. So uh, this is the impression that I get during my life in Italy for many, many years. And I would love to share that with you. So uh, without further ado, 
I, I am sharing with you all these different um, sections of lessons that you would like to choose. Maybe you just like to choose one summer outfit for casual wear or maybe you would like to go for a wedding in summer or maybe you would like to know the whole range of the four season, seasons uh, way of putting together an outfit. And then with time, of course, I will go into more detail with autumn then with winter, then with spring. But since we are in summer, even though now in Indonesia it is uh, the dry season, we have two seasons only and that is tropical, of course, uh, 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 dry season and tropical monsoon. But in Italy, they really dress according to the seasons. Whereas in England, I notice they don't. That, that's what makes you appreciate more the kind of material you wear, the kind of cut, shape, design you wear, because every season has its own specific shape, silhouette, color coordination, color. Uh, it's beautiful because it gives significance to what actually you wear and how you see things because then you don't wear anything random that makes you feel first of all out of place whenever you're in an event or in a place and in Milan you know right away when you're wrong because you will stand out like a sore thumb among them in the street yes admittedly not so much today because it's you know uh, the new generation you know, is from the internet age where it's much more international where the, 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 the European Communion has already, of course, uh, entered into the Italian um, uh, culture. But uh, still, it gives you that sense of belonging when you are there. Um, you feel sure, secure about yourself. For some people, it doesn't matter, you know, they couldn't care less. But, you know, this is, this is what I think gives meaning to life, even though it is a, on a superficial level. But still, it's fun. Why not? You know, celebrate life. Enjoy life while you can. So this is the reason why I would like to share this course with you. So that I don't keep it to myself alone. So that's it. If, uh, there is anything else you would like to ask don't hesitate to write to me uh, i have my blog i have my youtube channel even though they're much more personal because i didn't expect to be um, plunging myself into this kind of specific uh, course but why not i would love to share them with you Thank you so much and uh, see you on the next video perhaps on my YouTube channel that is still not professional. It's very no frill as it is mundane life kind of things channel and uh, my blog which is part of my life also written there so it's not strictly on, on uh, fashion or on uh, clothes. All right, thank you so much and uh, I hope to be hearing from you very soon. Bye-bye.